sick, some of us are ill, some of us don't care and never will. Some of us are deep, some of us creep, some of them are fake but claim they're real. Some of us walk, most of them talk. If I wish you would keep it concealed, some of them act, most of them crack. Shoulda never said your head stainless steel. Some of them whisper, some of us don't. Some of us listen, some of them won't. Some of us have been here since this shit started. Some are acting like they don't know. Some of them are twisted, some are like bitter. Some are clean hearted, some of them are sinners. Some don't know what it is to be real. They don't figure. Play it cool, boy, play it cool But don't be walking around as if you're someone higher If you can break the rules, boy, break the rules But mother should have told you, don't you play with fire Some men act fake for the love, then have to become what they wanted To become, to fit in some Until it all falls flat like one step Friends, you ain't ringing one You ain't got none low, he's not in your concepts You ain't slinging guns, but you're talking like John Wayne's at a complex You better know yourself Real men know how to hold their self Said he's sleeping peace at night Not sitting up trying to console their self Be real, stop playing parts You might not mean what you say in bars But I'm Anubis here and I'm weighing hearts And you ain't got no hope in hell If you can play it cool, boy, play it cool But don't be walking around as if you're someone higher Welcome back to Burfield. Long overdue, I'm sure, but we're currently sitting on Pendrel Point. It's now end of May, nearly June, and the birds are grief, aren't they? Poxy things, mate. I mean, they've been silent up until now. Get my camera set up, focused on that, and they start rowing. It's the coops, mate. Put the fight in them now. Burfield assassins. But yeah, going, going on from the winter, madness on the maids, as you know, amazing maids. So I had a really good winter, managed uh, some really good fish, including 16 and 11, bigger than that I joined for. But what really set it off was that £38.6 six common. That was my first carp of 2020, and I'm quite superstitious, and that was a really good common. My best common to date, that was. £38.6, six first carp of 2020, and it's a common, a good one, and I thought, that's going to set me up for Burfield days. I was buzzing, you know what I mean? So, confident, my first carp was good on, and, and when that sort of stuff happens to you, and you've had a good winter, it sets you up for a good spring. If you have a good spring, it sets you up for, sets you up for a good year, basically. So I've come on Burfield with loads of confidence. I weren't planning on starting here until mid-April. Going on from like the year before, I didn't really start seeing carp until mid-April time. I blanked the whole of April. My first carp was from Bomb Point, a fish called, um, was it a 42 pounder called Spike? And I had that in, I think, the middle of May. So it was a slow start. A lot of a lot of nights, a lot of weekends for nothing. So I weren't too fussed on getting here early like I did the year before. But I was meant to be doing the Farnborough show, the big one, but it got cancelled. And that was the end of March, 21st of March or whatever, 20th of March. And I thought, I'll tell you what, I'll go over Burfield, get a feel for the place again and uh, just take it all in, because I haven't been here since November the year before. So I've pulled up here, pulled up down near the bomb, like the lane where you park for the bomb, didn't see no motors, I thought, I'll tell you what, that, that's a good place to start that time of year. So I thought, I'll go up there with a bucket, got halfway up there, and on the way I was like, I really fancy it now, I hope there's no one there. So I'm creeping along, got to the uh, got to the stairs and that, didn't see no barrels, I thought, it's free, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I've gone down the stairs, boom. Swims free, big northeasterly, pumping straight at me, and I thought, this is prime. I mean, the year before, that May when I caught the spike, it was like that. We had hailstones, it was freezing, big northeasterly, battered me, and I caught, and I just knew, I just felt it. I had just done an Instagram post that day saying, this feels exactly the same as the year before when I caught one, and I was buzzing, I just knew I had a good chance. Anyway, the first day, Nothing, first night, nothing. Following day, out of blue, about midday-ish, one o'clock, rattled off, and I've caught my first Burfield carp. So we're gonna go back then, go back to that, and we'll show you what unfolded. Well, how about this brute for my first Burfield carp of 2020? Meant to be the big one on Shane Farnborough, but it's been cancelled due to that coronavirus outbreak and that, so decided to come fishing. I was meant to start back here in April, but it's the 21st of March now. I thought I'd start a bit earlier, and I'm so glad I did. Check this one out, I recognise this one. So um, I think it's been like £46 in the past, 
right through to the mirror. And yeah, 438 this time, absolutely buzzing with this. Thank you so much. Good start to the next instalment of the Ellis Diary. Let's put her back now. There she is, all 43 pound, eight ounce of her. Remember me first fish out of here back in May last year, and it was a uh, Baltic conditions, bit like this, big northeasterly wind, straight in my face. We had hailstones back then, but this this time we ain't still freezing though. Just goes to show these conditions are good for big fish, especially from here. Buzzing, mate. Can't wait to get another one. Hopefully, we're back then. She wants to go. Come on. Here we go, fish number two. It's actually the one I thought my last one was. This is the 46 pounder, 46 pound four ounce. And uh, yeah, what a result. Two fish now, my first session back. What a guy. What a guy. Got Benos behind me. Sheeped him up in his swim. Ah. He ain't at me. I can see it in his eyes. But there you go. It's Burfield, innit? Hopefully we get another one before we pack up. In it, George. Fuck off. <laughs> Let's put her back then. There she is. Going back to her home. The mighty Burfield. What a fish. Thank you, George. Thank you, Benos. Right, mate, you can't get out of Addy. Hey? I've been off the bin cave out of Addy. Twice. Bah. Bah. <coughs> Corona. Social distancing from the Benos. Yo! Yo, he's jumping in me swim and he's even like time rigs in me bivvy. I mean, he's come down at like first light, put his rods in me swim. Get out. Now time rigs in me bivvy. But yeah, I'm going home today. Let him have a bit of action, maybe. If he gets on the main one. Isn't it, Benos? Ah, oh, <laughs> oh, let's go. What a weekend. Buzzed. As you can see, two two forties. I actually managed to lose one. Um, on the second day, I done three nights. I could have done four. I should have stayed, to be fair. I didn't know what was around the corner, and what was around the corner really really tortured me basically i'd had them two fish brace of 40s first session back i booked the uh i planned to come back on the first day do another three nights i booked the work off and i was buzzing a couple of days later after getting home it was like the start of the coronavirus and lakes were shutting burfield shut pretty late it was still open i thought oh, they ain't gonna shut burfield it's 96 acres not that many members there's no problem it's not like a day ticket busy i mean you can have your own areas but the government shut down everything, shut down all the fishing, the lot. So it, it's now been two months, right? So I had a brace of 40s, buzzing to get back, start of the year, it's looking good. That common from Lazing set me up, and now these two 40s have set me up, and it's just closed. You know what I mean? They've closed it for two months. I'm sat at home, I'm still going to work in London, mind, going to building sites around loads of people, but when I get home, I can't go and see family or friends, close ones, but it's okay to drive to London, do a day's work with loads of randoms that I don't know from not my household, and then go home again. Like, whatever suits the government, suits them. You know what I mean? But we can't go fishing, so it pissed me off, basically. I know there's all that stay at home, save lives and that, but if it's that serious, it'd stop me from going to London on a building site, or it's a new build, it ain't important. It's not essential, is it? But it is essential to the government to get that done on time, to move people in, coin it. So, yeah, proper pissed off. But that's all over now. It talked with me. And then finally, last weekend, the lake decided to open on Saturday. A lot of the lakes, they open. If you remember, they opened on the Wednesday. Everyone's buzzing. But Burfield was still shut. And I was like, oh, I'm at home. Like, I can't go fishing. Everyone's going fishing. But Burfield weren't open until Saturday. And it opened uh, Saturday, 8 o'clock in the morning. So I got down, no, 8 in the morning, yeah. So I got down here, I got down here at 9 o'clock. I thought, I'll turn up like 
turn up later so everyone can like walk about and yeah, I did pull up to the murder swim big one that I like I knew there'd be fish there this time of year what we're talking like mid April now pulled up there's a motor there I thought ah uh, next swim little murders that's free so I've pulled in there and parked my motor went and see the gauge with big murders a couple of members I know from uh, previous year as soon as I walked in the swim 40 yards out Bosh, decent mirror, just boshed out. And I was like, Phew. that don't happen on Burnfield. You know what I mean? The shutdown has obviously uh, put their guard down, they feel a bit safer and that. So I thought, I know where they are, I don't need to walk about. I should have walked about really, but why walk about when you know there's fish there? So I was set up in the little murders, wanting to get in the big murders. Majority of the fish were in the big murders, but I went in the little murders as it's the closest I could get. And unfortunately, I blanked for two nights, but I could see where they were in the big murders. And on the third night, I managed to get in the big murders. And yeah, first session back after all that time. And I managed to bite, I put my first rod out. This was about six in the evening, put my first rod out, put my second rod out. And then the third rod, as I was boating that out with a bait boat, the first rod I put out to the island, a few bleeps, tips pulled brand slowly ticking line off the clutch and I was like that's a carp that ain't no tench picked it up boom and uh yeah check this out the rest is history first session back and a big common it's not the bird field but it's a chunk first session back on bird field I've waited two days to get in the swim I wanted to get in where the fish have been and uh, yeah, got two rods out, putting the third one out. And the first one I put out has rattled off. Rattled off. And uh, it's a proper one. Not gonna lie, I got shitty bum when I went to net this. Look at that for a carp. And then that's a Burfield 40 pound, 8 ounce common. To be fair, I'm re weighing this because it feels a lot heavier and it looks a lot bigger, but thank you so much. Three fish this year now, both, 40, uh, all three are 40 pounders. So yeah, this year's my year. Check that out. Thank you, Burfield. Yes. What a carp. You jumping in here then, Joel, yeah? I am, yeah, I'm You put your bucket behind me when uh, I was asleep this morning, yeah? Bye. <laughs> this is the big murders, mate. Are you lost? <laughs> what a car, eh? Hey? The baby Burfield. I thought it was the baby Burfield. We may add it that foot that um, previous autumn, and on his Instagram, it's called the baby Burfield. But I've come to realise now the baby Burfield is actually like a mid to upper twenty, and this one I call he ain't got a name. Coops are having it on Pinswood today. But yeah, I ain't got a name, so it was, yeah. One of the bailiffs said called it Greg's Fish, but I ain't gonna name a fish after me. If they wanna call it Greg's Fish, then go ahead. I ain't gonna moan. But to be fair though, when I caught that, I was playing it in and I was like, I thought it was a big mirror. I, thought, I knew from the fight it was a big fish. And not being like big headed and that, you can only tell a 40 pound carp when you hook one and play it in. It's just solid, heavy, takes ages to get back, don't really do much till it gets in the edge. And I was just pumping it back like it was weeded, like a big weeded fish, but it weren't weeded. So I'm pumping it and I just knew. And I, I expected a big 40 pound Simo, deep bedded one, like the ones from March, because the way it was like rolling in the edge, just sounded deep bedded. Anyway, it's rolling out, not seeing the actual fish, but I've seen a towel flipping out of the water. And I knew it was a big one, and then it's gone a bit closer than that. And I've seen the common scales, and no, no liar, I thought, shit, is that it? <laughs> the sound of it was big. I thought, is that it? <laughs> Got it in the net, looked at it. I knew it weren't it, but I thought, that's the saddlebag. I'm sure it's the saddlebag. And that goes about £47. And I thought, it ain't that big, but it's big. Right. I knew it was a big one, not £40.8, which it was. I thought it was maybe 44s or something so I had to re-weigh it like I said on the video re-weigh it double check and it was actually £40.8 but 
what a start, what a comeback. So it's been shut for two months. I've come back, caught one on my first session. So I'm now buzzing, all right? The following week, it was a bank holiday weekend. I thought instead of having Friday off and getting there, it would be busy. I thought I'll start Saturday, I'll have uh, the Tuesday off. So I'll do three nights. I'm only missing a day's work, like with Friday. So yeah, I've uh, booked the Monday off, booked the Tuesday off. And that Friday, we got a message on the WhatsApp group. I'd oh, have started spawning, so Weedy Bay shut and down to the dog leg. And I thought, ah, oh, that's all right. I'm not going there anyway. I know where the fish are. They're going to be around that murder still, Alsatian Bay area. I'm going to use that a lot. So I weren't too worried. Later on that day, another text from the bailiff. Boom, the whole lake shut. And I was like, mate, <laughs> this is not happening, is it? I've done two sessions this year. And I've caught both times, and both times the lake's closed straight after. As your luck. So today, I'm down here. I had this day booked off work, obviously. So uh, I've decided to come down here, film a bit of footage, take it all in, walk about the lake, try and find a common. It's been spotted a few times already this year. And like last year, it didn't get seen as much. So my mission today is going, going about, walking about, trying to find a common. I found quite a few fish in Telegraph Bay today on my way to here, about 15 carbon. Last year, you rarely see fish in there. You, you see them in there, like ones or twos at a time, but not 15 fish, so there's a lot of carp in here at the minute. And I'm reckoning, I reckon Alsatian Bay, that'll have a few today. So we're gonna have a little mooch about, take it all in, film a bit of footage for this diary, because I've had three footies now, and I've got no footage, no lake footage, no talking, which I'm doing now. It's all happened months ago, some of it. Um, we're back now. Next time I come here, hopefully next weekend, I can start fresh, film it as I go, and we'll get a video. But at the minute, we've got nothing. We've got three carp, three forties, which is good, proper good for Burfield. And I've had a really good year already. I'm doing better already this year than I did last year. And I've not even fished. I've done six nights, two sessions, six nights. So I'm buzzing, mate. All that's been shot and it's been torture. It's going to be a good year. And dare I say it, this year's my year. I just know it. <laughs> I'm confident. The Burfield column last year was impossible. This year, nothing's impossible. So we're going to have a walk about, hopefully find some carp, get some footage, and we'll see you next time when we're out of fish. But going back to them 240s back in March, how weird was that? Caught a carp, thought it was a 46 pound known one. It wasn't. Caught another carp, and it was actually the one I thought the first one was. Mental, I took that one into the net. So now I've caught that baby Burfield, which I thought was the baby Burfield. Next one, the big Burfield, isn't it? Surely. Pray for Ellis, we can do this. So sorry it's been a long delay. We're going to get a video out soon, but one more carp. When it's open, again, hopefully next week, and we'll get the ball rolling. But yeah, let's do this. BC 2020. Come then, let's go and find some carp. This Burfield's got me so depressed this year. I've even done a Britney Spears. Shaved my hair off. If you wondered who that person was, other than that 40 pound common, it's actually me. That's what this place does to you. <laughs> Coming in the Burfield Common, to be having ya.
shallows and it's pretty obvious from a lap round that the lake is closed for spawning because there's carp everywhere to put into perspective this one here is a 30 pound fish over by these reeds whilst watching it there was a massive eruption and then this ghosted in and when you look at it now you just see its back break the surface it's a common carp and it's a real big one and that boys and girls is the Burfield common my first sighting it spooked from something in the reeds and ended up at my feet as I stood there in this swim a proper proper one it doesn't look that big there but when the other fish is 30 pound you can see it's double the size but what happened next was uh, pretty surreal a deer come running behind me up the bank and the common drifted out to the right where it's going there and then I've gone up the bank to the next swim in the 30s to see where it was on the way back the deer is walking across the shallows over to the reeds on the left <laughs> mental and then obviously about 60 yards away is the Burfield Common to my right and it's spooked currently having a walk around Burfield it's back open yesterday so I've got down here about 8 o'clock and fish bomb point big easterly wind blowing in there look the nuts thought there'd be fish turn up this morning or whatever or last night in the evening so there's a few in Alsatian Bay but turned out I was up at 5 didn't see a thing so I'm having a walk about I said I'm down the other end now and uh, this has happened to me. Everyone that walks Burfield in the hat can relate to this. Every tree I walk past and you've got a duck or whatever, the tree nicks your hat. And uh, if it don't happen to you, you're obviously not walking it properly are you? Right. <laughs> That's, uh, it happens every time I walk around this pit. Wild. This is the wild end for sure. But we're going to have a walk about, we're going to try and find some carp that I can access easily. But the water clarity is terrible at the minute, it's really hard to find, to see, even spots in the edge on that, you can't see them, it's just this gone brown, so it's going to be an hard one, but we'll try our best. I've still got my gear in the bomb, so we'll go back there tonight. Uh, the wind, it's, it's an easterly pumping straight to it and it just looks too good, that's why I never packed up fully, I thought I'd have a walk about, leave my gear in the actual swim, as back up to go back on, because the fish should be there, 100% they should be there, but I've not seen them. It's not saying it ain't there. There's plenty of tench there this morning showing, so there could be carp there. But I want to know for sure I'm on carp. I ain't wasting my time this year. I've lost a lot of time. Got to make up for it. So a lot more walking this year, and a lot less camping. So let's go find some, eh? Here we are, top of Barnets, looking out to the open water. Bomb Point is between them two islands. Just about make out a swim there. And that's where I'm plotted up, so that's prime conditions. This wind's prime. Nothing down the other end where I've just mooched. So I'm going to end up back there. Have a look at Alsatian Bay. But the best bet is the bomb over there, I'm saying. Well, I never saw anything. We've got to be out in this open water. They love it around these boys and that. Down that ski run. It must be there. But yeah, beautiful, isn't it? I love Burfield. Look at that. Well, let's head back because my gear's stashed up. And I've been gone uh, quite a while now. Let's go. Right, we're back in the bomb. This is what it looked like yesterday. It looks absolutely bang on. Wind's pushed in nicely. And although I've not seen nothing, it was a uh, walking about today, gave me that peace of mind. I thought I was sitting here and there'd be fish elsewhere down the other end, but obviously there ain't. If there is, they're not that visible. Water clarity, like I said, is rubbish, but you'd expect to see something if there's a lot of fish down there, which obviously there's not. So they must be out in front of me, just not showing. They're probably out in, the, out in the open, right behind that island. Behind that island there, that's all out of bounds to us. So we can only go up to that island. So the boat yard over to the left. They like getting in there, the wind's pumping in there nice. So no doubt they're there. But 
tonight, early morning, they may venture over and I'll be there. On the way back to here, after we walk about, I drove down to Cottage Lane, so I got in the van and drove back to the bomb. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll go get some beers for my barbecue. So I went down the old Tesco, nice little queue outside, classic Corona, Corona season queue, you know what I mean? <laughs> I've got there, reached in the side door to get my wallet out, and guess where my wallet was? Bomb Point, Burfield. So I'm back here now, debating whether to get beers or not. Sun's out, fancy a beer. It's a mission to go back there again. See how it goes. Till then, we're going to assess the situation again. Look at that. We might get beers. We'll see you in a bit. With a fish, hopefully. <laughs> Be nice, wouldn't it? Chilling out, an evening on Burfield. Just had a couple of burgers and I'm now cooking my homemade chicken kebabs. Look at them. If you want a kebab, mate, come see me. Ben I ain't got shit on my barbecues, lads. Proper barbecue in the bomb tonight. Hopefully. Big, well, I was going to say fat then, a big, long, lean, 60 pound common, hopefully. Pretty nice, wasn't it? Yeah, pretty quiet at the minute. Nothing's happening. I'm not saying nothing. Speedboats have been an absolute joke today, coming right in front of that island. Right close, 60 yards in front of me swim. Never seen them that bad before. Uh, I'm hoping they're finished now looks like they have and uh, we'll get lucky tonight or early hours in the morning pray for Greg that's what I'm saying but until then I'm gonna carry on cracking on get an inch <laughs> let's go char it up nicely make sure it's cooked and then uh, Worth a fibre. Fibre go, Burfield boys. If you fancy a barbecue in the bomb this year, my new swim I'm booked. I'm booked. Uh, yeah, just come see me. Reel your rods in, and uh, we'll party all night with a few kebabs and that, a few beers. Everyone's a winner. <laughs> ben, I'm sure invited, mate. Look at that. Geyser, like I said. Probably nice cooked and all. I think. <laughs> right, let's eat this. Three of them. Get fat. Probably fall asleep and go to bed. Might see you in the morning. Ta -ra. Right, we're back on Burfield. Nothing happened last week on uh, Bomb Point. Done two nights in there. Thought it was going to happen. It looked good because I've seen nothing elsewhere. But yeah, it didn't quite quite go to plan, that was another blank. But we're back now. Got down Thursday, done a night in Pikey Corner. It looked really good in there. There's a couple of fish in Alsatian Bay, so that was a good shout. But after doing a the night there, nothing happened, didn't hear nothing, didn't see nothing. So I walked about and I've now found myself on Hodder's Point, which is a right trek, a right mission to get to. And when you get to the end of the point, there's not much water. So you ain't so much of a view, but it looks good. There's a big wind, full moon, 6th of June, in a coat, in a hoodie, it's freezing, Baltic out here, so conditions are savage, but yeah, uh, from that day when I walked about, saw the common on that Tuesday, see fish everywhere, a place where you never normally see them, I was like, oh, when it opens, it's going to be, you're going to find them, ain't you? but as soon as it opened, they must have known it opened, and you didn't see a fish anywhere, and it's still the same now, really hard going. Well, it's a struggle. We're going to walk about today. I did hear one. There's an island to my left, and it boshed out behind that, somewhere in that sort of zone. Sound like a good carp. There's been a few tench in front of me, out in the, uh, between these islands. And uh, I've got a bait out there. 
sometimes where there's tents there's carp but in this place like on other waters on this place the burr field if you see a tench you basically see them everywhere so it's not like oh the tentry there might be a carp it's not like that it's like anywhere you want to go there'll be a tench <laughs> no carp uh, there a lot of this angling on here 90 percent of it when you ain't seen nothing it is gut instinct like they might turn up on you or you've seen them somewhere they might pass you here tonight you're gonna intercept them but 99% of the time they don't turn up and they don't pass you so it's a lot of guesswork it's a big old pit and it's tough but we're having a mooch about today it's not that good to see fish cruising as you as you would when it's warm but you might see something show and we're having a look down down this far end like see how it goes because sitting here not seeing nothing apart from tench but have no fear still a good zone because I know they're this end of the pit I've heard them so I'm not too far from them I may do another night I may not but we'll see how it goes right <clears throat> just having a walk about and that fish I heard show last night was directly in front of us there's a gap between them islands you can just make that out and the island behind that where it's actually Hodder's Hodder's Island, Hodder's Point, and that's where I was fishing on the end of that. And judging from what I heard, that fish that showed was in that sort of zone. And this swim here, it's called uh, the blocks. But normally, you've got people socialising, partying. That's Burfield Blue Pool there. It's a very popular lake. Stag do's, birthdays, all that. Fishing socials. So these swims pretty much get left alone because you're right on it. But through that island there, that's a bit of untapped territory. You can't really get there. And that's where it showed. It's obviously safe. I'm thinking I'm gonna have to move around to here. Let's put one up to the island, not through it obviously. But there's a good chance, maybe stick one off of here. Good chance I could uh, intercept one, get a bite. Because that, sh that show, it's not like a good fish. I've never fished this swim either. So it's another bit of new territory for the Ellis Diary. And that'll be the third move this session. So if I do catch one, it was worth it. I was rewarded. I made the effort and it happened. But it's got to happen, innit? The weather conditions are banging. And I think this is the best bet for a bite. It's a bit of drizzle in the air. Gonna get wet. My, my feet are soaked already, walking around in the long grass and that. But it's got to be done to be fair if I don't do it I'll end up regretting it but yeah I'm gonna sit here for a bit assess the situation then put the head back get the gear and get set up right we're all packed up as you can see I've uh, loaded my kit a bit like lightness got rid of the power porter swims like this hottest point it's really hard to get to a power porter believe it or not it's so treacherous, and I'll show you that. I'll uh, give you a little bit of footage as I go out of here. But you've got to leave your rods here, barra up all the uh, ups and downs, all the obstacles, because there's plenty of them. Then come back and get your rods, because if you don't, your rods fall off, you roll your barra. Done it on the way here, I've learnt my lesson, jobs are good. And, but yeah, the benchmark light, got that on here. That's uh, about eight or nine kilos, sleep system. I've ditched the actual be uh, benchmark X, my benchmark standard I've got. It's a bit heavier, so I need everything proper like if I'm walking about Burfield with gear I need it all to be lightweight so I can get a bat so that's the reason for that but we're going to uh, go out now give a little guided tour how to get out of Hodder's Point and it's, uh, it's a rough ride we'll show you Said them want link with the general. Said them want the high grade medical. Then I want to move with no boy where you move like snitch and I move like federal. Said them want to roll with the gargan. Then I want to roll with no pagan. Never jungle is a champion. Everybody don't know the program. Why go that big and thick like all the program? But if you don't know the program, well, what? Why go that big and thick like all the program? Yeah. 
Everybody don't know the program Well if I war bumbo we'll make it start up Bumbo rock clot, watch it up it clot up Well if I war bumbo we'll come tell me no As if the thing my kill him no shall I know Hey man no bad man, I must say mad man Bout the fire gun shot a dead program But them not no man, cause a car gun Fly them blood clots, that it a me slogan Say them want link with the general Say them want the high grade medical Then no one be moving no boy where you move like snitch and I move like federal Said them want be roll with the garden Then no one be roll with no peer gun Never jump with a champion Everybody done There we have it Sweating like a pig That's Hodder's point Probably got a 10 minute walk now But it's pretty flat so Burfield, the ultimate challenge Just walking about is hard enough As you can see and we are fishing one out there pretty much open water one down to me right when i was getting my uh, rods out just now look at that sky how moody that is it's just lashed it down excuse my feet i'm wearing crocs because uh i've walked about in trainers and socks and now they're soaked so drying out my feet wearing crocs but yeah basically behind here in the shadows there's um there was a big fish boshed out Run around there, couldn't see the ripple, but I think it's in something called the 30s, which is down that channel there, behind a couple of islands. So they're in the vicinity. It's just proper lashed it down, like I said, and uh, it's calmed right down. It was quite windy getting the rods out, but now it's a good time to spot. I'm seeing a lot of fizzing up in that, presuming they're tench moving through the swim. They're like strips of fizzing. It's not the uh, it's not the bottom kicking out. It's definitely something moving through. But yeah, it's uh, it's good. It's looking good for a bite. Let's see what these to rattle. Special main line bobbins. Go. Let's wait for one, mate. Sunday the following week, finished work late on Friday, didn't get my rods out until midnight, Friday night, ended up in Alsatian Bay, thought they'd turn up in the uh, warmer weather that we had Saturday, and they never, but they were showing short where I am now, on the Friday, Friday afternoon, matey moved out, so I've moved in, not seen, I've seen a lot of tents short, and some carp, really long, Right long out there, that's out of bounds to us, past that island. Plus the bait boats are banned now, so range is an issue. The lake's really, really slow at the minute. Since it opened, after spawning, the water clarity, it's like brown, the weed ain't come up. The only areas where the weeds come up is sort of like Alsatian Bay. And yeah, they seem to be sitting out in the out of bounds water. Jumping, mornings. And when they do get an Alsatian Bay, so do all the anglers. There's a lot of anglers on here. And I don't think anyone's uh, doing too well. You can see that because when you walk about, everyone's walking about looking for something. Whereas normally by now they're settled and they have areas or they're baiting their swims. But now everyone's just on the mooch looking for where they are. But there's no weed to hold them anywhere in any of the bays. So they ain't really getting about like they should be. Obviously a few have spawned, the smaller ones, but the big ones ain't. I think we need them to just get it all out of the way. Hopefully the weed comes up, but with the water clarity it's going to be hard. Oh, it's going to be an hard year. 
Burfield torture at its finest, but I was going to wait for another fish to make a video, but it could be a long old wait. So I might get the ball rolling now and start fresh. We saying. It's looking good though. It's looking good. But yeah, going home today. I've done two nights, and it ain't gonna it ain't gonna happen. I don't think. So we'll see you next time around.